It's your boy Hollywood Funk on another episode of Outside. We're in the east side of Denver, Colorado, the down bottom, 3455 York, where a nigga grew up at. Take you through this motherfucker, show you where I got my ism from. Street Nurse Productions. We on. Taught you, you would tell you yourself you mm, that the neighborhood taught me is really stay focused, bro. I seen so many niggas that like could have been in the league. I'm one of them for real, but like coming up and looking back at it, like niggas lose focus easy. Like this should have take your focus, bro, because the life. Outside of uh, outside of like whatever you whatever your passion is basketball football nigga want to be a lawyer whatever like the hood to take your focus away easy because like the shit be fun you know what I'm saying outside of like the bad shit is fun let's keep it a buck you know what I'm saying so like if I could look back and tell like 15 year old me it it have been stay focused keep going foremost bro this was this was this was grandma house you know what i'm saying this was this was base my nigga this is where uh you know what i'm saying you needed a hot meal you needed some to be loved on right quick like nigga we all came to grandma house christmases fourth of july like nigga this is where you came you know what i'm saying so i got my sense of my sense of family right here bro like my sense of structure all in this house like we all lived different places with mom then, but like nigga, we was we was at grandma's house, you feel me? So like I got a lot of that family structure. Nigga, right here in this backyard, right here in this house. Like sadly when grandma passed, we lost this motherfucker for real. But a nigga gonna make enough money one day to get this bitch back. But yeah, bro, like I got I got my other shit from outside just cause the neighborhood was treacherous around then, you feel me? Like you had a couple influential families that that was going up in the neighborhood like that for real but uh yeah nigga as far as what i got in this house bro it was love it was love in this motherfucker for certain what's the biggest misconception about where you are um that it's all bad i really got a sense of, of the greatness on this block here too because nigga back when i was little a lot, of, a lot of the young niggas don't know, but like, nigga, our first hero was, was Stevie Johnson, nigga, world champion, you know what I'm saying? Lightweight. His, the, his uncle that trained him stayed, nigga, in the, in across the street on the alley right here. I think he might still stay there. His mama stayed in the house next to him, you know what I'm saying? So I remember, nigga, when the nigga Stevie won his first world championship, nigga pulling through in the green drop top, you know what I'm saying? Playing Love TKO. Like, nigga still black eyes and everything. Like, that give, a, that give a young nigga a sense of like, nigga, if he can do it, I can do it, you know what I'm saying? So I got all that, like, right here, nigga, on, on, in these four corners. Like, nigga, that I, you know what I'm saying? The gang shit, that a nigga could be great. You know what I'm saying? My hoop and shit, my love structure, like, all this shit came from here, bro. Like, a nigga got all my ism, you know what I'm saying? And these, and these like, six, seven blocks, bro. Like, I done seen, like growing up being an entrepreneur and shit, like I done seen all of the other communities, like Park Hill, Montbello, uh, Aurora. Like I done seen the government give out money to, to certain communities in abundance, bro. And for some reason, like, they just don't fuck with us like that at the bottom, bro. Like we can't get no funding for the kids. Like, I think the, I really don't know what it is like but the misconception is that it's all bad down here and it ain't like that bro like if we could get some of them contracts and some of them funding to like pour back into this like we could we could we could really do something crazy down here like they trying to rename the five point something else like that's crazy and but i think i think low key we gonna go to uh nigga pop shop it's right off the right off the five points he one of the last like black establishments still left on the five point. Uh, um, he been owning the auto body shop for shit nigga as long as I could 
remember before I was even born, before I was even thought of, he was working on cars and shit. And anybody know anything about, excuse me, about Denver, like, nigga, the Five Points is one of the most historical areas nigga ever known to this city. His, his shop happened to be like right off the Five Point. So like, you know what I'm saying, anytime car need fixing or whatever, we was down there and shit, just, just the Five Points in general play a big part. You know, we was down there when, like it's Weldon Street now, but it used to be wings and things. Like nigga, that's, that's how, how, how how far we go back with this shit in the hood, like nigga, wings and things. They renamed it Weldon Street. They in the process of like the, one of the best soul food spots. They in the process of getting a new spot, so all niggas can't take you by there, but when they get up and running, y'all swing through Weldon Street, for sure, for sure. But uh, yeah, we gonna run down the pop shop. He might be there, down there working. One of the, one of the staples in the community, if, if you know everybody, know Uncle Larry. Come get your car fixed. Come borrow some money. Come whatever. He 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 that guy like that down here. He been down here so long. Everybody know him as Uncle Larry. He everybody's uncle for some reason. But you remember the pig ear? That shit got shut down. But the pig ear was was heavily influential to niggas growing up. And yeah, this pop shop nigga, he right here working as we speak. Courtesy out of What's up, father? Yes, man. Yeah, bro, we just patrolled the uh nigga shooting a couple staples in the community, cuz. Yeah, hell yeah. That shit. Oh man, you got the best one with you and all that. Oh yeah, so. yeah, my shooter, nigga. Hey, what you think about the state of state of the five points right now, cuz? This shit's cool. I love it. You like it? I love it. Huh? I love it. From how it used to be though? It's organized now. Ain't nobody put no money in down here, so we gotta deal with what we gotta deal with. So we gotta get some money, nigga, and try to come back down here. For but sure. The price is up, so if niggas couldn't do it now, shit. I like what niggas is doing outside this motherfucker. If niggas can come part. back down here and shoot a video or something and be cool. Yeah. This shit, this shit live right here, nigga, because you're a real nigga. Cause a real nigga. A fuck nigga can't come down here and do this. These niggas gotta go to a war. That part. Crash shit. Niggas don't know who they is. Nigga, we really, we really from here, nigga. You niggas gotta go do some hot shit. We really from here, nigga. Sitting on the low and doing all that, nigga. Nope, I feel comfortable right here, nigga. I go eat lunch right here, nigga. Get my chairs out, nigga. I'm comfortable, nigga. Right here, I can't go to work here. Oh, where you going to go hang out at? Right on the five points. This is where I feel comfortable at, right here. Yeah, nah, it's it's still definitely home, cuz for sure, right for sure. All through this motherfucker. For sure, sure. Roll through this motherfucker or something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's different, but it. it's still home. Oh God. That part. I hang out all down here all day long. Lunch breaks. Curtis Park, nigga, Pipkin. I'm just around here, some thoroughbreds. That they shit. Around here. Real. Yeah. They ain't even got bikes no more, nigga. They on electric bikes, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> niggas ain't pedal shit, nigga. They niggas is on, niggas is on electric bikes, yeah, scooters, cuz. Scooter, this <laughs> scooters is like yeah, that nigga, like nigga, I'm on my scoop, yeah, patrolling right. the hood, cuz. Yeah, but uh. Put that music out, nigga. Free my nigga's phone, nigga. That's some real nigga right there. Yeah, that part. That nigga gonna slap you, niggas, when he get out. I guarantee it. Nigga, stay out in the boonies. You don't see this many police, nigga. I ain't seen a gang unit police in a long time. Nigga, miss this, this shit for real. I'm gonna get enough money and, and buy this house back, nigga, one day. Mark my word. So, look, I don't know if you could pan that bitch around with this the liquor store, nigga. This shit probably. Oh, come on, we gotta stop here. The liquor store and the, uh. The liquor store and the laundry mats, damn near the only thing still left. I think they redoing this, uh, that was the dry cleaners. I don't know what they doing to it now, but nigga, the liquor store, 
the laundry mat. It used to be a uh, Randall's is over here now. It used to be a little candy store. Niggas used to go over here and steal candy and shit. Shit crazy, nigga. That's the only two things still standing. Laundry mat and liquor store. Million, my brother. <laughs> How you doing, man? How are you? How you doing? Goody, how you been? We doing a little documentary around the hood, man. I've been telling him you have been here since I was, since I was a puppy, man. Yeah, this is it for me. How you been? How's business? Everything good? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. I'll see you next time. All right. That nigga been here since a nigga was, boy. On the liquor and the uh, laundry mat. That's what that say right there. What's the motivation you give to all the youth out there, uh, and maybe even some adults? What would be the positive message that you would give them from wherever you're from? Keep going. Never let your dream die, bro. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be good days. It's gonna be bad days, niggas. It's gonna be days niggas wanna give up, but like. If I could tell anybody anything, nigga, like, everybody got a dream. You just got to keep going on that shit, you feel me? Like, um, when I was in college, bro, I, I, I low-key felt like I gave up on my shit. Like, when moms died, um, I dropped out of school. Nigga, I was, like, one of the number one quarterbacks at, I mean, cornerbacks at that time. But the nigga just didn't have no motivation. I let that shit die. And uh, that nigga J. Cole got a bar that always stuck with me, like, even if you let your dream die, it'll hunt you. You feel me? Or is that how to bark? It's something like that. But like, you can't never let that shit die, bro. Like, as long as you got breath in your body, nigga, you gotta keep fighting for your dream. Last words. Yo. Yeah. My last words? Um, outside, bro, this shit, this shit brought back a lot of memories, uh, good and bad, you know what I'm saying? We, we lost a lot of a lot of good niggas down here on, on, on this side. You know what I'm saying? But uh we ain't we ain't no different than no other community, bro. We you know what I'm saying, the good and the bad, the uh, the pretty and the ugly, bro, but this is home for sure, you know what I'm saying? And this is the community that made me who I am. So nigga outside, east side Denver, Hollywood Funk.